and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and sideswipe of the Supertonic, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube, and today we are looking at a beautiful singer from the Faroe Islands, Ivor, and this is her song, Falling Free. This is one that has been requested, or this artist has been requested a few times by a few folks uh, friendly to the channel who have obviously joined up and um, are a member of this fabulous community. And so we are going to check out this, this submission. Uh, this is live at the Old Theater in Torshaven. Torshaven? Torhaven? Um, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. I probably butchered it. But anyway, we are going to check out Ivor and see what she does. She's uh, singer-songwriter from the Faroe Islands. Three, two, one, go. Do I need to turn this up? Twenty seventeen, so uh, six years ago. Luscious, beautiful, haunting vocals, and very moody and atmospheric. It's a beautiful film. Again, I don't know why, and I think maybe my computer is struggling to process all of this information, but uh, this f the film seems jerky, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. So I apologize. It's probably something I'm doing on my end. Okay, let's continue on. just amazing here i just want to back up one little second here she is using my favorite microphone of all time the neumann kms 105 that is my touring microphone right there and i'm just i'm just pausing this isn't a commercial break but i love this microphone it is so even you don't have to eq it it's just beautiful and she is playing that microphone like it's its own instrument you can see her moving in getting into that nice proximity getting that nice breathy approach and then you know, expanding out as her as her voice expands, and uh, being able to to play that and just sounds so beautiful, amazing. You know, oh. Okay. <laughs> That kick drum just sounds epic, like a, a taiko drum from Japan or a, a legion of them. Uh, the, Whoever is doing the recording has done a wonderful job of keeping the atmosphere and then having that nice low bass. 
um, just sort of unencumbered to just sort of live there. It's just, it, that's what I'm enjoying in my headphones anyway. I hope it is translating out to whatever device you're listening on. much power in that voice. Wait, right, what's, is there something in her ear? Is she wearing in-ears? Sorry, I get distracted by these things. No. Did she hit some note that's way up in the stratosphere? I just sort of heard her flip up there. She must have had some form of formal classical training. There's just, there's so much wonderful control. And the arc of her legato is something worth mentioning. Being able to sustain those, the length of those phrases and have them all just sort of tie together beautifully as they are. Amazing. Yeah. Very, very nice. You know, the whole outfit, I'm getting, I said this before when I watched some, some of the other artists, uh, this, this gal, just the way she looks, I'm getting like Lucy, strong Lucy Lawless vibes, you know, Xena Warrior prin Princess. And, and just in case there's any ambiguity about that comment, that means it's awesome. I totally, I, I dig it. It's not just the look, it's just sort of, there's something about the, um, the fragility and the fierceness being presented in her vocals and just the raw emotional power. It's very, very moving. Okay, so she's doing this really interesting, almost like a vocal cry here, and she's changing her technique to a, sort of elicit a, a little bit more of a primal sound. I I would call it a moving the the vocal folds. If it, I would you know, moving the vocal folds. Of course, you're moving the vocal folds. What I mean is sort of raising your larynx and, and getting into that more of that. I call it the pharyngeal voice, or it's uh, more of a um, uh, what do you call it? A <laughs> A E S A E S area epiglottic sphincter <laughs> control. <laughs> it's a funny name. It's basically you raise your larynx, and so you get this sort of more of a strident sound, and it's evocative of um, if you've ever seen uh, Balkan female vocal uh, choirs, and they they do this acapella technique, which is 
really it's just it cuts right through you it's it's got such a strident uh cadence to it that feel to it but it's musical and beautiful at the same time um very i said i think i've said the word primal a few times here but uh, it sort of has that evocative feeling Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Okay, yes, well done. Ivor, uh that really that last note there up in the stratosphere kind of felt C six ish, D six is almost uh, whistle tony in a way, but just so pure and, um, yeah, yeah, just pure, yeah, beautiful, great. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I really enjoyed that. She's an incredible talent, and uh, no doubt, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure where she is on her particular career journey, but uh, the world needs more of that. Absolutely, beautifully done. Incredible technique, wonderful extended vocal techniques going up into that, like I said, almost near whistle tone area, though just such a pure tone. Um, you can shatter glass there with that. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, well, I don't know that I can really add any more to what I've already said with respect to what I heard going on in that particular uh song just wonderful technique flawless her vowels were amazing her her diction my god her diction was excellent uh and the whole filming of this particular live the live footage and whoever put it together well done uh sirs or madams madams just just really beautifully done <clears throat> and i say that uh sincerely and and honestly because i've i've had a recent uh, experience where I had someone do some filming for me for uh, a live show. And and it was sort of thrown together. I'm like, oh, I should have someone come in here and document this. And maybe we could do it up. And we'll get a board feed into, you know, the, the, the guy's camera. And then we'll get something happening that way. And it just was a disaster. Like, I, if you don't plan it beforehand and say this is the look this is what i want this is what i'm going for i want this atmosphere i want these people i want all of these elements here well you're just going to get something that no one's going to be particularly proud of like in the end i've got a document but it's more like okay this is what happened that day from this particular angle and you know the sound was mediocre you know it it gives you a sense of what's happening but it's not it's not like that, you know, like just where everything's beautiful, crystal clear. And so anyway, we live and we learn, we plan. And uh, that's with anything, including your singing. If you don't have a plan, you or is it? Uh, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you don't have a plan, then most likely you're not necessarily ever going to reach your objective. So if you need a little bit of help as a singer, formulating that plan, I strongly recommend you reach out to a talented vocal coach. So they're 
vocal coaches don't just focus in on your technique and what you're singing, but also help you shape the direction of where you want to take your singing to what what is the next level, where do you want to go, how do you want to proceed, all of those things. And there's lots of great vocal coaches to choose from. If <clears throat> You don't have to work with me, but if you want to work with me, there's, like I said, there's plenty of us out here in YouTube land. Uh, I will be sure to leave those links down below in the description. That's one of the things that I do. And uh, yeah, I'm often uh, absolutely taken aback and floored by the, the depth of clarity of some of the comments in the comment section. So if you have one of those incredibly insightful bits of wisdom to share, please don't hesitate. Leave that down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And <clears throat> as always, if you are not yet a member of this fabulous community of music lovers and vocal aficionados, I, hey, I recommend or I ask that you would consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that uh, bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the stuff that we produce here every week on the channel. All right. That's it. I've said it all. If you have made it to the end of this video, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we will see you next time. <laughs> I should probably do that again. We will see you next time.